Hello folks, this is Ayat Tanaja from InspireToRise.com and today we have the Laico LE2 smartphone and we have the Moto G4 Plus smartphone here with us for a small comparison review between both of these. So guys, without wasting much time, let's begin. When we compare both of these smartphones, the La2 does not have a 3.5 mm jack it has CDLA which is a lossless audio format and you have a USB type C earphone to use with it on the right both of these have the power button and the volume rocker while on the bottom the La2 has the speaker and the USB type C while the Moto G4 Plus only has the US micro USB port and on the left hand side the La2 has the SIM tray slot while the Moto G4 Plus has nothing you have to open up the back to access the SIM tray slot and it does have a front facing speaker the Moto G4 Plus so that's something good in terms of raw performance processing power the Moto G4 Plus is quite behind because it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 while the La2 has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 octa-core chipset which is considerably more powerful and it has around 3 gigs of RAM and both have a full HD display but the La2's display does seem more vibrant and better than the Moto G4 Plus display both come with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow but on the Moto G4 Plus the experience is more stock and it does feel a little bit better than that on the La2 but the EUI is also a very refined one so that's good and both of these smartphones sport similar almost similar battery sizes and when you see at the thermal quality and the thermal temperatures then you get to know that the Moto G4 Plus definitely overheats a lot even during normal usage so that's something which needs to be fixed about this phone right now and when you talk about the number of sensors then the La2 does have a lot of sensors when compared to the Moto G4 Plus which does not have so many sensors and in terms of Antutu benchmark scores also the La2 is definitely quite ahead almost twice the score of the Moto G4 Plus so that speaks volumes about the La2 performance and apart from that when you talk about the camera there is no beating the Moto G4 Plus right now below the sub 20,000 or sub 25,000 region the best bang for money camera is the Moto G4 Plus the camera on the Moto G4 Plus is too good the image quality is quite good and when you see at the image you would know for yourself and when you look at this image you can know for yourself that the Moto G4 Plus did get the picture on right on this one also and here also you can see that the Moto G4 Plus has somewhat better more natural colors as compared to the LE2 and the LE2 also is quite good enough in this picture but still the Moto G4 Plus is definitely an overall better camera and let's let's look at some other images also and this one shows dramatic difference in terms of lighting the Moto G4 Plus captures a lot of light over here and definitely better than the LE2. The LE2 comes up with lot of features like the TV, you get the love view and a lot of other applications which make the overall experience quite better while on the Moto G4 Plus you don't get a lot of bundled applications like this, you don't get live TV feature and other stuff but what you get is the stock Android experience and which is something which is great for a lot of people and this is a matter of personal preference whether you like the extra functionality provided to you by the EUI on the LE2 but on the other hand you want the stock android feel and overall look of the moto g4 plus so it's something that is up to you that choice is up to you but overall if you want a better camera then moto g4 plus is the way to go and if you want more performance then the le2 is the way to go in terms of pricing also the le2 is definitely the winner over here so guys this was it for this video in case you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is ayatana from inspiredwise.com signing off folks Stay inspired.